Hello guys, welcome to another video, and today we are doing three Skyrim Creation Kit mods for the video, because I really didn't find anything I found particular worthy of one spotlight video for the week. So I'm going to do three mods today, and then one, hopefully one tomorrow, hopefully one on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how the week goes. But, but without further ado, let's get into the episode today and show you the three that I really, really liked. And as you guys can probably tell from the video description and the title already, the first mod I'm going to present to you guys today is White Run Trees, and basically this just adds trees to White Run. Like I said, there wasn't many great, great mods out there for the week, so I decided to go with this. Gives White Run and the area a different feel. Gives it more of a outsidey feel than confined into walls feel. Some people might not like this mod. Some people might really, really love this mod. It hasn't gained too, too much attention yet on the Nexus or on the Steamworks uh, shop or whatever the hell it's called because I don't bother with the Steam. I hate Steam so, so much. But obviously Skyrim's got to be running it. But that's this mod. One a hint of uh, advice for everyone. It does take CPU to run this with all the rendering of new shadows and everything so you're gonna take a few FPS here, but not too much. But that's that mod and let's get on to the second mod which is still in the works so I'm just gonna introduce the mod and say what I feel about the mod and here it is guys. And for our second mod of the day we have a water droplet type thing where when your guy gets wet he I think they did it as like a spell type thing because when he gets out you could see your body like start glowing as a spell was casted on you and you could see water droplets drop from and right there was that little glow thing coming out of the water but you could see water dropping from your body but as you guys can probably tell already there's a little little problem with the mod already as you can tell with the quick change in uh, the scenery with clothes to naked when you have clothes on or armor on you really really can't tell the water droplets are there or falling. When you're bare ass naked, sorry about the language, um, I'll try to bleep it out if I remember, but you can see droplets coming out from his chest and from his armpit area. It is early in the stages, I suggest you guys at least give it a try to see how it is, but let's get on to the last and final mod of the day. And for our last and final mod, guys, it is a weapon pack, and it's a dragon bone weapon pack, especially, well, not especially, certainly, or, I don't know, troller comments from me getting extremely confused, finally, yeah! And with our last and final mod of the day, guys, it is a weapon pack, and specifically a dragon bone weapon pack, which I know most of you are probably here for. And what this mod does is it adds three new mod, uh, three new mods. It <laughs> adds three new weapons to the game. And as you guys can tell, one was a bow, this one's a sword, and the other one's kind of like a big, huge ho uh, hammer type thing. And it's pretty powerful. And basically, you can tell that this modder has some really, really good skills with artist type stuff. And now I'm going to show you guys how the mod works and how it feels in the first person view and that is whoa did you guys wow um that was kind of like a bone crunching but that's part of the game not the mod but as you can see the mod works perfect and really really nicely and it, it's probably just like any other sword i'm really sorry about this don't don't flag me or troll me for that i didn't know it was a little person i'm so sorry but anyway, you really see that the sword is really, really, really nice. But there's not really much I can tell, say I mean, about the mod uh, when I'm just swinging away. So I finally decide, let's go to the Warhammer and show you guys this amazing beast. And I'm going to switch over to third person for everyone. This way you get a little feel of what it looks like in third person. And as you can tell, it looks just as great as it does in the first person. So, if you want to play in third person with this mod or first person, it's fine. It works perfectly fine, which you kind of would expect with any kind of mod that adds new weapons. I don't really know how if you have to like synchronize or map anything for it, but as you can see, look at the blood textures on it. They're pretty, pretty sweet. But anyway, that's it for the today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, favorite the video, share the video. And I have one quick question for you guys. Do you guys want me to keep only doing Skyrim? Or would you rather me start doing like I used to do, throw some Minecraft and Assassin's Creed? Or just stick to Skyrim? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, guys, see you tomorrow.